Twitter at Studio D Show. Michelle. Miller, I need your help because I can't get my hand from my braces. <laughs> 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 it's going to have to point like this. I'll still do the weather, but I, okay, I can't raise my hand. So, so we're looking at a high pressure in the southwest. It's going to be 10 to 15 degrees above where we typically are this time of year. Spotty storms a little bit further to, to the east. So we'll continue to see this heat especially in Texas, they're gonna see triple digit heat once again with those storms a little bit further toward the east and a little bit further toward the north. So the mid-Atlantic, the southeast, we are expecting uh, this area of low pressure to cause some spotty thunderstorms through portions of the, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna go, uh, bye, <laughs> Miller's gonna help me, thanks. <laughs> that's funny right there, I don't care who you are there, that's funny, all right, well, I'm good over here. All right, well, finally, college football realized we'd rather watch Ryan Seacrest drop a ball than a quarterback throw one on New Year's Eve. They've decided to change the college football schedule. College football has discontinued its attempt to create a new tradition on New Year's Eve. Playoff executives have decided to change the dates of the playoff semifinals in four of seven years when those games were scheduled for December 31st. They now will be played on the preceding Sunday. The other three years, New Year's Day falls on Saturday or is designated as a federal holiday. And have you ever wondered what a seven-foot German goofy guy looks like kicking a soccer ball? Well, here you go. Dallas Mavericks legend Dirk Nowitzki took to the pitch in a charity game to show why he should remain on the basketball court during a charity game in Germany. Luckily, he just re-signed for two more years with the Mavs, so he is sticking to his day job. Oh, Dirk. Good try, though, I guess. Are you okay over there? <laughs> You detached? <laughs> yeah, there was a whole so pit crew. The there was a whole pit crew working on behind the scenes during that whole read that I was doing. Wardrobe malfunction. Hey, that is so funny. Hey, the struggle is real, people. Right? <laughs> Way to get the weekend started, Shelley. That's right.